Hello and welcome to Art Studio Nagoya. In today's video, I'm planning to sell this camera, the Spotmatic Asahi Pentax SP2, to buy another Pentax just in black. So I'm going here in Nagoya to a shop that I think they're gonna give me like, a, I'm expecting like 1000 yen, it's like a $10. And the one I want to buy that is black, it costs uh, 5,000 yen that is like uh, $50 so that's the plan for today I think I could sell this one for like uh, maybe $100 in internet if I take the time and so on but because it's such a little money um, it's more practical for me directly to just get a little bit of money from this one and pay a little bit extra for the black one um, so let's see how it works. I'm expecting 1,000 yen for this one. Let's see, like maybe they give me less. Uh, so let's see what they said. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello, welcome to the second part when I just bought the camera. I'm in Sakai now, it's another part of the city. So I sell my camera in Nagoya because I, I knew they're gonna be more generous there. Uh, the guy who I sell the camera is a nice guy. Uh, he gave me actually 2,000 yen that is more than I, than I expected. I was expecting 1,000 if everything was okay, even 500 yen. Uh, but he gave me 2,000 yen, so I was right that he's generous and a, a nice guy, actually. Um, but I decided to buy it here because they have the model that I want in in Sakai. I got it, the black one. Okay, it's pretty beautiful, I love it. I have it before and I like it so much that after I sell it, I, I, I decided like I actually want to have the camera. I like. I like it so much and I, the silver was good but black is it was my favorite so that's why I'm doing the, the change because the other camera was working perfectly fine so I sell it for 2,000 yen and I bought it for 5,000 yen uh, $20 $50 so I pay $30 for the camera basically which is I think pretty cheap and I pay that money I indulge myself to have the black one that is the one that I really want um, actually it's in pretty good condition this one too so I'm pretty happy with that it's just uh, the change of the color for aesthetics basically um, other than that keep in mind that if you buy in a shop in Nagoya as I did you're gonna always lose money like uh, uh, usually in a shop like the one in Sakai the one I bought the camera uh, they're gonna give you like 25% uh, 20, of the value of what they expected to sell it so it's not a good business, it's just convenient, okay? If you're gonna make business, you gotta go internet, but that's why, like, for a small amount of money, it's not worth the effort. It's better to go to the shop because you have some guarantees and it's easy than doing the process in internet. If it's a lot of money, better you go into internet, I think, because uh, then you're gonna pay a lot of money and they're not gonna, if you try to sell, they're not gonna give you a good uh, amount of money. Anyhow, this is like a really, so if you get an idea, um, just a roll of film that I bought today and when I process together, it's gonna be the 3,000 yen that I pay for the camera. So it's really like a, a cheap buy for, yes, uh, aesthetic reasons to have the black one. I uh, hope you all enjoy the video and see how it's to sell and buying cameras here in Nagoya. Uh, sorry that I didn't show you the shop, but these kind of shops they don't like to, to have cameras inside and I think it's kind of rude. It's not my style, okay? so you're gonna have to figure out the insides of the shop and the process. Um, if you like it, give me a like and if you didn't subscribe, subscribe please so you can see more videos like this and you keep seeing this beautiful city of Nagoya that we have here. Is Nagoya and yeah see you in the next video check my Instagram account I have like tons of uh, photos taken with this camera so yeah see you in the next video bye